Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test and a review on a Jack Black sunscreen. So I hope you all enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so I can create more contents like this. So I got this sunscreen from Sephora. It is SPF 45. It is oil free. Um, it has water resistant for 80 minutes and it has two chemical sunscreens and one physical sunscreen of zinc oxide in here. It doesn't have any tint, um, which is awesome because sometimes I don't want to wear any tint. It is oil free, so I'm excited about that because I have really oily skin. So oil free is awesome for me. Take that off. Okay, so this is how the sunscreen looks like. Okay, so it feels like a zinc sunscreen to me. It's pretty thick. It's very white. I'm gonna go write a million songs if that's the way to be. Hour to class to beat them all and go down in history. I'll be the one to reach the stars, but only if you're with me tonight. that will be. Okay, so it blended into my skin really, really fast here, and the white cast is not prominent at all. And the best thing is that it doesn't have any pills. I'm going to apply another layer on to see if it is going to create any pills, um, just to see if it's a good sunscreen for reapplication. So actually I want a thick layer of sunscreen on today um, because I'm going to a nursery and I'm going to be walking outdoor for about a couple hours. And no pills. So the sunscreen blended into my skin really well. It really doesn't have any white cast or maybe a little bit. Okay, so this is how my skin looks like. It looks really good. It's not too oily and not too matte. It's just a perfect dewy finish. Okay, so I'm going to wear this sunscreen for the rest of the day and we'll see. So this is how my skin looks like in real daylight. And definitely no white cast at all. And I like how my skin is. It's a little bit dewy and it's not too oily or not too matte. So it has been four hours and this is how my skin looks like. I'm very impressed that it is not oily and I don't feel like there is a white cast at all. So it has been 10 hours since I applied the Jack Black sunscreen on my face and I have also reapplied it twice today and this is how my skin looks like. Now I'm very very impressed with this sunscreen. I'm so happy that my face is not oily because I have extremely oily skin. Although it doesn't say that it is a matte sunscreen but it is oil free. So that's probably why my skin is not extremely oily. Um, so besides that, my eyes are not irritated and my skin feels very very moisturized. There isn't any patchiness on my skin. My skin has three layers of the sunscreen on and it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't peel every single time I reapply the sunscreen. And my skin doesn't have that white cast that a zinc oxide tends to give. And it's probably because it has two other chemical sunscreens in here that kind of uh, help to blend out the products better. Every time I reapply the product, my skin looks like I will have a white cast, but I just blend it in and give it a few minutes and the white cast will kind of go away. I 
I'm so excited to be continuing using this sunscreen because I feel like this is something that I can use underneath my foundation because it has a physical sunscreen uh, as a base for me which I really really like and also it blends so well and it doesn't have the white cast it's going to change the uh, color of my foundation and this consistency is not too thick I'm so excited to be continuing using the sunscreen because I feel like it would be a good sunscreen to use underneath a foundation um, because it is water resistant for 80 minutes it has a mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide in it and the consistency is very thin um, and it blends really really well and I feel like without the white cast my foundation color would not change so I'm so excited to use it just because every time I wear foundation I have been using my shishado sunscreen here for the past probably five years but the consistency of this sunscreen is very very thick in comparison to the Jackbox sunscreen And the white cast is very, very prominent. And I feel like sometimes when I put my foundation on top of this sunscreen, my foundation tends to gear towards a lighter side. So I'm actually really excited to be replacing this sunscreen with my Jackbox sunscreen when I wear foundation. And also the other sunscreen that I have been using underneath my foundation is my Rovectin sunscreen here. Um, this one has no sunscreen in it and the consistency is very thin. I actually really, really like it. And it looks like this. And it is a pinkish color, but when I massage it on my face, it doesn't have any color at all. The only thing I don't like about this sunscreen to wear underneath a foundation is that it is not water resistant at all. So my overall impression is that I love this sunscreen. It has one physical sunscreen of zinc and two chemical sunscreens, and it doesn't have a prominent white cast. And I feel like it's something I can definitely use underneath my foundation because it won't change the color of my foundation. And also it's a water resistant for 80 minutes. So I'm so, so thrilled. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.